Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for Virgo. So Virgo, this will be a pick a card reading. I have two piles. This is pile A and this is pile B with two hearts. So what I want you to do is ground your energy and see which pile is speaking to you the most. Remember that these messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. They're also timeless. So whenever you happen to click on this video, that is when this message or these messages could be meant for you. Remember to like the video, Virgo. Subscribe to the channel if not already. And click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed thus far. So I'm going to give you a few moments to pick which hearts or I should say hearts are resonating with you and then we're going to jump right into the reading. Okay, Virgo, so we're going to get right into it. So first, I will be starting with heart A, and let's see what message Spirit has for you. It says friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. So yes, for some of you, this is about you just, I heard closeness and togetherness. This is about you really forming a very healthy bond when it comes to your connection, becoming closer. It's not just about you loving each other virgo you actually have to like each other you need to like the person that you choose to be with that you choose to spend most of your time with so what we're going to do is go a little bit deeper to get some more messages spirit tell me more about friendship love messages for group a virgo I have expectation. For some of you, I feel like you're expecting too much from your partner. You expect a lot. You feel like, I heard give much. You feel like your partner may not give as much as they should when it comes to the relationship. I heard release. For some of you, Spirit is saying it's time for you to release your expectations when it comes to your relationship. When it comes to romance in general. For some of you, I'm just looking at her like sitting, looking out this window. Like you're waiting for the fairy tale. You're waiting for Prince Charming. But it's like, I heard unrealistic. For some of you, you have very unrealistic expectations when it comes to love. When it comes to being in a relationship. So let's get another message. Spirit, tell me more about friendship. Look at what I have, message. Okay, Virgo, I feel like someone is definitely going to be reaching out to you. For some of you with this expectation, you may already have that inkling or this is something that you desire. Um, I heard waiting on a call. For some of you, you're waiting on a phone call for someone. Like you're actually sitting around and waiting. I heard separation for some of you. You may be in separation from this person. I heard like fallout. You may have gotten into some type of disagreement or argument. And it's like you're just sitting and waiting for this person to reach out to you. Um, I heard like make amends. For some of you, you want to heal the situation. I heard like you want to get back together. I heard let's stay together. So you want to reconcile Virgo for someone, for some of you. So let's go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more about expectation. But again, I heard unrealistic. There's someone who has unrealistic expectations. Let's get a message for okay. So I have three messages. It says healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Expectations. For some of you, you expect the worst when it comes to relationships because of what you've seen growing up. The type of environment that you have been in. And it's like you expect for every relationship to be just like that. To be just like the relationship that you have seen with your parents. For some of you, you've been in unhealthy and toxic 
connections because you continue to repeat the cycle, the cycle that you have seen as a child. The next message I have is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Again, expectations. For some of you, I again, I heard unrealistic. I heard real love. It's like you're searching for this perfect man or this perfect woman, but perfection doesn't exist. For some of you, you just have to know how to meet someone where they are and realize that it's two imperfect people that really makes a strong and stable relationship. The next message I have is attraction. It says, you're attracted. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So yes, by not waiting around for some of you with this expectation, I'm also getting that you are so focused on being in a relationship. You're too focused. You're too consumed when it comes to love that you need to take your mind, take your focus off of being in a relationship, off of connections and just really enjoy life like it consumes you. Um, you're too focused on it and spirit just wants you to pull back and just enjoy life Virgo so spirit let's get a message for message playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine yes again you're waiting for some of you i heard like sitting home waiting for you staring at these walls is all i do by total you're sitting home waiting for someone to call you and spirit says it's time for you to just get out and have fun stop sitting by the phone virgo get out have fun and live your life so let's get some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about healing family issues. I have twin flame in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you've been stuck in a very unhealthy cycle when it comes to relationships. I feel like for someone, you're not in communication with your twin flame you're no longer in a relationship you have detached because it was unhealthy and i heard cycle for some of you this has been a very unhealthy cycle you and this person break up to make up but you never seem to make it work i heard unevolved for some of you this person may be your twin flame but they are unevolved they have not matured to the level you want them to be or need them to be for a healthy relationship let's get a message for twin flame Come on, can't make it up, Virgo. Settling, settling for less than what you deserve. Reliving the same cycle as your parents have lived. Seeing the same thing done over and over and over in your life and you're just continuing the same cycle. Settling for connections that are toxic. It's time for you to break the cycle. Let's get a message for soulmate and you know this person isn't no good for you but it's like i heard something keeps pulling me back yes there you go telling me no again yes it's like there's just this push pull type of energy one minute you love each other the next minute you can't stand to be around each other let's get a message for soulmate Okay, what do we have? Third party. For some of you, it's hard for you to find love because I heard like interference. 
You may find yourself in third party situations. You may find yourself in relationships um, where the person you're seeing is already with someone. I'm also getting family for some of you. For some, your family interferes in your relationships a lot. So it's hard for you to really build anything that is stable and then i have solitude in the reverse clarifying third party for some of you you're attracted to like the playboy playgirl it's like with the soulmate like you try to force this person to be committed to you but they're not ready and you know that but you still try to force it for some of you you're desiring to be with someone like you can't get past a relationship But this person who you're still stuck on is out living their life, seeing other people like they just are not in a space to give you that commitment. But you feel like this is the one. It's like you're just stuck on this person. Like you feel like you have to have this person, but they're not ready. They're not capable. They're still playing the field expectation like you're expecting something from this person that they're not in a place in their life to give you let's get a message for attraction Okay, I have home in the reverse and I have change, attraction. This message is for someone very specific. This message is not going to resonate with everyone. But there is someone who feels like or maybe starting to realize that they don't want a traditional relationship. They don't want marriage with the White House and the picket fence. Someone is realizing that they don't want a traditional relationship. They want something outside of the norm. Whatever that may be for you. Spirit, tell me more about home in the reverse. I have healing. For some of you, this is going to be about you healing. Healing from a broken relationship. Healing from your childhood. A broken home. For some of you, you came from a broken home. A broken family. And it's like you're still healing from that. Change. I see you overcoming it. I heard new levels. I feel like you're going to be going to a new level, evolving emotionally. And then look at what I have clarifying, change, release. You're finally going to be able to let it go. So whether this is about a relationship, a person, or this is about your childhood, what you didn't get, what you should have gotten, you're finally going to be able to just release it and close the door on it. I heard like finale. Yeah, you're finally going to be able to let it go. So that you can finally have that healthy relationship. So that you no longer have to settle for less than what you deserve, Virgo. Let's get a message for playfulness.
I have extroverted in the reverse and I have temptation, playfulness. For some of you, Spirit says if you're desiring someone, you just need to speak up. For someone like you're holding back from this person, for some of you, you're holding back by not showing your true self. By hiding who you truly are, by, you know, really toning down your personality and not letting your light shine, not letting this person see you in your authenticity. And Spirit says, like, that's what is going to make you attracted to this person just by being you, just by being yourself. And like I said, for others of you, you just need to speak up. You desire someone, it's time for you to speak up. Stop holding back. Childlike quality, you know, be open, be bold as a child. Stop holding back your emotions because of fear of rejection. Fear of the unknown. Let's get some overall advice, group A. Spirit, what advice do you have for group A? Advice for group A. Okay, I have the Five of Wands, I have the Devil, Capricorn Energy, and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Yes, it's no longer worth fighting for. It's no longer worth waiting for. That's what you're learning. For some of you with this Five of Wands, you're just in a very push-pull type of relationship, very toxic, very unhealthy, or aggressive. For some of you, like you and this person has engaged in physical aggression towards each other. This is just a very unhealthy connection, a very unhealthy person to be in a relationship with as well. I feel like for some of you, this person has control issues. I'm her abusive, manipulative, and it's like you're doing the right thing by pulling away your energy. You're doing the right thing by no longer investing into this relationship or relationships in general that are not healthy, that are toxic. It's like you're no longer giving to that Virgo. You're breaking the cycle. You're cutting the cord. And you're moving towards a new beginning for yourself, for your life, and for your future. No longer giving, no longer investing into situations that are not for your highest good. Spirit says, round of applause, Virgo. You're headed in the right direction. So, Group A, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone, stay blessed. Hello, Group B. So, we are going to jump right into your messages and see what is your love situation. So, the first heart is beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection so yes don't project your insecurities on each other that's the first message i'm getting do not tear each other down pile b build each other up In order to have a successful, stable relationship, you have to be willing to accept each other's shortcomings. You have to take the good with the bad. The next message is playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So yeah, this is just about you just enjoying each other, not focusing on the negative. I heard all the time, for some of you, I heard bicker. There may be a lot of back and forth when it comes to your relationship, your connection. It's time for you to heal, to heal the things in your relationship. 
and laughter, having fun together, enjoying each other, spending time together brings healing. Choosing to not argue, not fight about things, but just to talk it out. And sometimes just choosing to just walk away and not engage. Choosing to focus on what's going right instead of what's going wrong. Looking at the glass as being half full instead of half empty, that's how your relationship is going to make it. That is how you're going to see this change that you want. Playfulness. It's just time for you to just enjoy each other. Be committed to each other. Committed to the process. Relationships are a process. You're going to have good. You're going to have bad. Some days are going to be like the sunshine. And other days are going to be like the rain. But you have to be committed to sticking it out. To getting through it together. So let's pull some messages and go a little bit deeper, Group B. So Spirit, give me some messages for Group B. Messages for Group B. I have expectation, release expectation. For some of you, like you, you hold your person like to this high mark, this high calling, and they're never going to be that. You have to meet them where they are. You have to be accepting of them just as you want them to be accepting of you. Expectation. There's no such thing as a, as a perfect relationship, as a perfect person. And you have to release that. You have to let go of that. You yourself are not perfect. That's the only way you're going to be able to heal this relationship. By letting go of what the relationship should be. And focus on what it is and working with that. Spirit, let's get another message from Virgo. I have house playfulness. It's time for you to build, to build together. That's the message Spirit gave me. It's time to build together. It's time to grow. It's time to prosper. It's time to put all the negativity behind you and just focus on what you have together, what you have left, what you can build on, what can cultivate your relationship, what can make it flourish. So let's go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more about expectation. Look at what I have. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So for some of you, you may be separating or you may already be in separation. But it's like you feel like this person is just not able to give you what you want what you need and you're choosing to pull back your energy i heard hermit virgo your energy going into hermit mode doing a lot of reflecting soul searching finding out what it is that you truly do want and if this person is capable of giving you that let's get a message for house Twice, playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, y'all just need to get away. For some of you, a vacation. I heard vacation. You're going to be taking a vacation together, or there's a need for you to just retreat. Playfulness to just enjoy each other. It's time for you to enjoy each other, to enjoy the time that you spend together. 
Let's pull some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about separation. I heard laughter and have fun. Yes. Creating a new experience together. Spirit, tell me about separation. Frequency in the reverse. You're not happy. You're not happy in this relationship. You're not happy with this person. And you're going to be walking away. I heard someone. Spirit says someone is going to be walking away. Yes, someone is not happy in this relationship. Someone is not happy with the way things are, the way things are going. Spirit, tell me more about this frequency in the reverse. Look at what I have. Compromise in the reverse and boundaries in the reverse. For someone, one of you feel like you give too much when it comes to this relationship with this boundaries in the reverse. You feel like you're doing all of the work. You feel like you're just the one giving. You're the one holding this relationship together. And with this compromise, you feel like this person does not want to work with you. They don't want to work with you to build this relationship, to make this, to make this relationship long lasting. And I heard like overwhelmed and burdened. It's like it's starting to become burdensome to you being with this person, trying to keep everything afloat. Let's get a message for playfulness. Come on, celebration. Somebody's going to be getting out and having fun. I heard let's have a good time. I'm also seeing marriage for some of you. You are going to be taking this relationship to a higher level of commitment. I heard November and December. So there may be some weddings taking place in the month of November and December. Yes, celebration. I heard marriage proposal. I heard three-year anniversary for someone. Yes, Tony, Tony, Tony song. Do you know what today is? It's our anniversary. So someone will be getting a proposal on their anniversary. Three-year. I also heard two-year and five-year. So congratulations to whoever that message resonates with. But yes, yeah, celebration. Let's have a good time. For some of you, build together. You're going to be building together. For some of you, this could be you purchasing your first home together with your significant other. Let's get a message for celebration. Celebrating your new home. Also, her pregnancy for someone. Spirit, tell me more about celebration. I have secrets. I heard surprise. Yeah, for some of you, you're not going to be expecting this. You are not going to be expecting this. But this is going to be a beautiful surprise. Again, this is going to be her elevation. This is going to be an elevation when it comes to a connection for some of you. And you're not expecting this. But things are a lot, things are about to get 10 times better when it comes to your connection. Let me get a message for secrets. Come on, are you serious? I have life partner, I have introverted, and I have unexpected. This is, I heard surprise again. This is going to be a proposal, a marriage proposal for someone. With this introverted, I heard like keep it on the hush. Like you have no idea. This is being hidden from you. Yes. And with this unexpected, I heard like happiness and joy. Yeah, this is really going to bring so much joy to your heart. Um, I heard like emotional. It's just emotions taking me over. By Destiny's Child, yeah. I can see tears streaming down your face. Like, I'm even starting to get emotional 
this is going to be something very beautiful very beautiful virgo so let's pull some overall advice so spirit let's get some overall advice for the first heart overall advice for the first heart Okay, I have the Page of Cups and I have the Three of Swords. I heard be careful who you give your heart to. That's what Spirit says for the first heart. Be careful who you give your heart to. Let's get another message. And then I have the Three of Pentacles. Be careful who you give your heart to. Be careful who you invest in. Be, be careful who you give your time, your money, your energy to. Not everyone is out for your good, Virgo. So be careful who you give to. Be careful who you get into a relationship with. Choose wisely. That's what Spirit says. Let's get a message for... The second heart. I have the high priestess. That's the only message I need. Yes. This I heard union. Someone is coming into union. This is going to be a balance. And I also heard yin and yang. Our opposites attract. For those of you who are in a relationship, you may have different um, religious views. You may be from different cultures, different ethnicities, different races. But I heard balance. You can make it work. Spirit saying you can make it work. I heard there's nothing to it but to do it. Spirit says you shall. I heard propel. You shall propel forward. You shall succeed. You can make it work. You balance each other. Don't question it. You balance each other. You bring a lot of balance and harmony to each other's life. You're very in tune with each other. I heard this is it. This is what you've been waiting for. Spirit wants you to trust yourself, to trust your intuition, and don't doubt. Don't doubt what you are feeling. So these are your messages. Group B, I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.